Hi, it's Adam from Buzzy. I've got something super excited to share. We've been in the process of allowing you to turn your ideas into a full working app, whether it's either responsive web or native, the whole thing, database, servers, Kubernetes, scalable architecture, no code. Let's have a look at it. So the first thing we're gonna do is go through a quick demo of, of actually creating an application. And for the purpose of the demo, I'm gonna use a pretty specific, um, simple brief. So I love beer, and let's create an application called Beer Explorer that lists beers, um, tells me you know, about them, where they are around the world, what brewery they come from, a bit of background about the review, um, about the beer, um, alcohol content, etc. So interesting information about the beer. Now I've specified about no user reviews because I'm going to show you as part of the demo how we add that in afterwards. So we're going to ask the system, the AI, in this situation this is backed by ChatGPT and, and Buzzy and we are now going to ask it to generate a brief. Cool, here it is. So this is the Beer Explorer. Um, it's got a bit of information about it. Um, we can list beers, we can view beer details, um, and then it's user roles. Now that's great, but I really want to be able to extend that and take it to the next level. So I've got a pre-prepared um, extension over here, so let's just have a look at this. So um, we want to make sure that we capture all the right detail information, so things like brewery location, brewery um, history, um, etc. Uh, but we also want to allow the ability for users to be able to create, edit, and delete data. So a full CRUD application that you can create and add new beers, delete them, edit them, and so on. Um, I'll also, what I'll do is I'll remove the no reviews uh, restriction, um, and let's say um, add in ability to uh, review each beer. Um, each review... Um, has comment, ratings, and image. Cool, pretty simple. So let's see what the AI can do to enhance this brief for us. Cool, so here is the next version, V2 of our brief. You can see a lot more information, a lot more details. Um, so we've got the list of beers, the view beers um, details. Um, create beer um, data. So now we can create, edit, delete, and we can also leave a review. This is cool. Um, and we've got you know, different types of users in here as well. So we can make um, changes to this brief, again, iterate on it and improve it. But that's enough for now. Let's generate the data model. Okay, cool. Here's the data model, version one. Let's have a look at it. So let's have a look at our beer. So we've got all the different um, field types over here and that looks pretty cool. Oh uh, wait, I can see that the image, the hero image over here is missing. It's something I asked for in the beer table that we'll need. Um, we've got a link to what's called an embedded micro app. Um, it's basically a sub table which links to the reviews sub table. So this is reviews. And that's, that, that is pretty cool. So now we're going to have a one-to-many relationship between beer and review. But let's just um, add this to the beer table. Um, please add um, hero image to the beer table. So AI is not perfect. And being able to modify it and be the human in the loop, the intelligent human in the loop to direct it is critical. Hey, hey, cool, we've now got a hero image in this. So I think we're ready to, actually you can edit fields in here but we won't do that for this part of the demo. Um, let's go to the next step and actually generate the screen design. So we can use these data tables to generate the actual screen flow. Let's go, this is gonna be cool. Okay, there we go. We've just generated all these screens. Quick look behind the scenes. So what we've done is we've actually structured, and you can see over here we've got all the different screen types and then everything from what the embedded components are on those. That, this is gonna get married with your design kit. Now in this particular example, let's just make this a little smaller, um, 
we've got a design kit over here. Now this is obviously customizable. You can fit your corporate design kit into it and so on. So we've got a blank file. Let's click this button, create Figma screens. Wow, check this out, this is insane. Um, we haven't generated the, the formats for all the screens, but here we've got, for example, over here, the, the beer homepage, this is where you're gonna get um, each of the beers. There's the latest reviews. Um, if we look at beer detail, then you can see the reviews for each of those. You can submit a new review and so on. Very cool. Now using the existing Buzzy uh, for Figma plugin, we're going to uh, create a new application. Let's do that. So this is a best practices set of components that have been created. So they're responsive, they're ready to go. Best practices Figma, you can see they're all nicely named in here. Um, and let's generate the app. Now this is going to generate um, this empty application. Now, we're gonna have a look at the empty app, but just while we're doing that, I'm gonna generate some sample data, and then let's have a look at the uh, application. I'll just bring that window over. Uh, let's see, here it is. We'll bring that up. Now, this is available both as a responsive web and a native application. Behind the covers, we actually use React Native. Um, with, uh, um, with the web, um, we use um, it's, it's just a, it's a responsive website. So here we go. Here's our app. Um, it's pulled out this from Unsplash. So ChatGPT has gone on a search for some images. Um, at the moment, this is very simple, right? Because we don't have any content. The content's getting generated as we speak. Um, but we can have a look at the list of beers. If we go into the list over here, we can see if we click on new beer, we'll get the crud. Um, we'll get to select all the different types. Wow, check it out. It's actually <laughs> filled that in. It's, it just blows my mind, this stuff. Um, we could put a link to a hero image. You can also allow you to select and upload images. So there's where the description, interesting facts, and location stuff go. So again, this is all tweakable. You can use the AI to regenerate it, or you, as a human, can get involved and change it. No code required. Um, so let's wait for those. Um, let's wait for that, that that data to be generated. Here we go. We can see. We can see the, uh, you know, so ChatGPT has gone out and searched. We've then used that to uh, unsplash search. Um, so this is going to be our chocolate stout. Um, we can see where it is. You know, it's, it's Guinness is the largest brew of stout in the world. Um, and then we can see that it's actually created a sample review um, by me. So we can make another review, and I'm going to say here, the best. Um, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to submit. We can see it's come up with the modal over there that says, hey, thanks for submitting. If we scroll there, we can now see that data there. So this is a full CRUD application created straight from ChatGPT um, to Figma. Again, this runs on scalable infrastructure in the cloud. Um, we can have a look at you know, all the data over here. This has got dummy data ready to go. Um, you know, it, it's insane. So we're really looking forward to this. Um, to this, you know, releasing this tool, get on our wait list. Um, we've, we've got, you know, a um, ton of people on there already waiting to get going. Um, looking forward to having you have a play with this and, and take things to the next level. So thanks a lot for watching and looking forward to sharing what our next version will be like very soon.